So the energy at the bottom of the deck is the King of Swords reversed. I see someone here around you who is having a hard time um, controlling their emotions in this situation. Hard time seeing the situation from a more logical standpoint. They are definitely emotionally overwhelmed and it's something that it's becoming stronger every single day. The, the attempt here, the idea is to detach emotionally so that they can better understand maybe what to do or what not to do. And this is clearly something that they're not able to do right now. They're being irrational and they are clearly trapped into their own mind. Now, what I see right here is someone who is definitely sad about something. They have done something to you which they are ashamed about. Uh, I don't usually start with a card in the heart of the reading, but I have to admit that this is very powerful right now, and it's really the moving energy for all these cards around. This person seems to be ashamed of something that they have done to you. And overall, they are becoming very destructive of their themselves their vision they are very they're becoming very negative and they're losing belief they are thinking that things are never going to be fixed and that they're not never going to be happy again this is someone who's having hard time sleeping there's insomnia uh, there is hard time eating they clearly are connected to you still and not being close to you it's like they have just lost an arm something vital for them now we see that they're coming from a place where they are missing you deeply this is clearly someone who is missing everything about you virgo the six of cups as you might know talks about being able to be happy just when revisiting the past just when watching uh, videos from the past looking at those pictures reading those messages that the two of you were exchanging but there is something in particular here that they are looking at and that they deeply miss from you right now and it's to me it's right here in the three of pentacles as you see these people are just working together at home knitting doing little things and this is the main thing that they're missing about you right now just doing the little things together, the routine that they had with you, that message that they used to receive from you. It's so, it feels so important right now. It feels like a treasure. And it's funny because at the time, of course, you just receive a message and it's a normal thing. And right now, it feels like the most important thing that they have ever got in their life. They're missing doing the little things with you, waking up right next to you, making coffee for you. I see clearly someone who's still very much connected to you and who is still living in the past. You know, you see here a child becoming a man and you see a puppy becoming an adult dog. You just see two individuals who thought that they were grow going to grow together to grow old, to be together for a very long time. And perhaps this energy has got interrupted at some point because of something that they might have done. You know, in the current energies, I see either you or them really focusing on what has happened. I think it's especially them. Although it's it could have definitely be hurtful for you as well because the Ace of Pentacles reversed often talks about unfaithful, being unfaithful, being disloyal, and definitely not giving the other person the love, the attention, the respect that they deserved. Here, you haven't been rewarded for being a good partner, for being loyal. You actually received the opposite as though you were also acting poorly towards them, which was not the case. 
And so this Ace of Pentacles reverse is really feeling to them as though they have just missed a huge chance. The chance to be happy. An opportunity to just connect with their soulmate. With someone who has everything that they can never wish for. And so when the Ace of Pentacles comes reversed, you know that even if it felt like uh, you had a strong foundation, maybe at times you didn't really have it. There is something that was missing there. And overall, whenever there was an issue, it all came down. And those opportunities turned out to be false opportunities. Someone has been greedy here and they had wrong priorities. They prioritized someone else, something else that clearly they should have not. And so they are now ashamed of this. And although it might be too late, as far as they know, they're still not able to let go at all. Look at this death reversed. It's clear with this card that you have to let go of something because you have to make room for something else. Anything else that comes next, but they're not able to. They're not able to transform, to change, to end the cycle at all. They're still very much in it. They're resisting this change and they're forcing themselves in a limbo. They're, they're, they are uh, clinging to the past. And overall, they are losing hope for this to finally work out again. But, you know, there is something here, a change, that I definitely see right down here in the immediate future, which is clearly unexpected. I know that the cards were up, but I was really focusing on this, and I didn't see this person having the strength, uh, the ability to just come up and tell you that they're sorry, to so apologize. Now that I'm seeing these two cards, I clearly... Uh, have an unexpected energy for me I can imagine for you because this person is definitely ashamed and they they're having a hard time just showing their face look at that they're not proud of who they are and what they have done and they have little self-respect by now to be able to come towards you and saying I am sorry um, whatever they're going to say, we will see. But what happened here, which take, me, take them to a place where they decided to apologize and to come forward? We will look into that. But overall, what we're seeing here with the Eight of Wands is a lot of messages coming your way, Virgo. A lot. This is them trying to connect with you in a way or another. If you have blocked them on your the regular text messages on your phone they will try to connect from a different app and if that won't work they will leave a letter right in your mailbox so that you at least will have to read that that letter has something has something in it maybe a flower something that it's really uh, unique to you that represents you, Virgo. And they're just wanting to make it special, you know? They're wanting to... Oh my God, I just got an image that they're going maybe to spray that letter with their cologne or their perfume so that you will be reminded of their smell and maybe you will feel nostalgic. You know, Virgo, this person is clearly desperate in connecting with you again and they will try anything that they can because they, they because they know that they have very little chances to be successful at this but what they're doing with the ace of cups is being honest a hundred percent about everything opening up their heart opening up their mind their memory so that you can see everything that has happened and you can make a decision based on uh, what happened, but also how that event changed, not just you, but also them. There is something that has changed within them, which is telling them, see, 
the change that you have to make right now is not about letting go of this relationship. You have to change yourself. You don't have to end this connection. They are certain about it and they will let you know. And so let's see what these messages will be about. Let's see what this person will try to tell you. And let's see maybe with this Ace of Cups, what type of information is coming towards you that you don't currently know about. Let's focus on that. Let's focus on how this potentially can change maybe the dynamic between the two of you. Is this going to fix things or is it already too late? Let's see how this connection will evolve from this moment forward. I'll be continuing the reading in the extended video link below in the description box. Follow me there if you want to dive deeper into the messages. Also, don't forget that every week I randomly select viewers that have watched the extended video to so offer them a free personal 30 minute reading. I send out emails every Monday morning, so please check your spam folder as well. Stay tuned for the extended preview and some more content made just for you. Welcome back to your extended reading Virgo. We see here someone who is clearly wanting to apologize, but they have no idea where to start from at all. They are so ashamed of what they have done to you, something that you were not expecting and something that overall they think at least it's not a reflection of who they usually are. They feel as though this is, this was so much out of their character that they don't even know how to approach you because they're not just a stranger to you, they are a stranger to themselves. So they are moving in the dark. They're trying to really go 300 miles per hour in the dark, not knowing what the environment is like. But at the same time, for some reason, let's see what changed here, but they're not slowing down actually speeding up towards you doing something here a message a letter which will really try be their main attempt in apologizing and tell you something about the situation which you might not know so first of all let's see what made them change what is here that made them go from i'm not going to show up my face to finally instead coming forward and apologize and then we will see what this apology will be about first of all let's look into that nine of swords that changed oh my god okay all right the hermit page of cups knight of swords oof, and ten of cups right underneath the knight of swords it's clear here that this person is not...